So is this working? People are saying it's not streaming. But I've been streaming for 10 minutes. Should be. Should be streaming. That's really weird. I've been uh, streaming and talking for for 10 minutes. That's weird. Like as you can see, I've already started drawing an alien. Um, that's super weird. I I did nothing different. Um, I kept streaming and talking, and I didn't see that anyone was here. So I just thought, you know, like. But after ten minutes, I thought, you know, that's a bit weird. Maybe someone has written something on Facebook. So I went, and Svensson had written. Uh, but yeah, so nine minutes have passed. Uh, I'm doing a, like an, a merchant alien. Um, uh, so that's what uh, that's what I painted so far. I will uh, continue now. Well, good morning. I was talking about um, uh, that I uh, was watching Gamescom, and um, there's this kind of fighting game, post-apocalyptic fighting game, third person, like Junkyard or, or, or something like that. They're showing it on Gamescom, like a pre-alpha build, uh, like lots of loot and uh, modular approach kind of to your gear. It looked really cool. Uh, ov obviously, it was very early uh, build. But um, it looked promising. Might actually be a game that I might buy. Like junkyard or scrap heap or, or something like that. It's really cool. Yeah, definitely Twitch messed up. I had I did the exact ritual like I always did. But today it didn't want to work no idea why so it wasn't maybe it was OBS's fault anyways it's working now glad that you guys are here um, yeah I was saying um, that uh, I always do muscles on my creatures like you know that they're ripped or, 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 or done a lot of push-ups so uh, this this uh, alien, I'm gonna do more of like a suit. I think it's about time that I uh, switch it up a bit. And also, uh, my son has a friend over, and uh, you'll definitely hear them screaming in the background. <laughs> so, but it's a good thing that I hear them. So I know that they're not burning down the house and that they're alive. But maybe you guys are not so keen on it, but at least at least I know that they're they're alive. So let's go. <laughs> it's only joking, of course. But they they do love to scream when they're playing and being loud and vivid games, so that's how it is. But I'm glad that uh, everything is working now and that um, you guys are here. Good morning. Michal, yeah. Um, it's always good to do uh, drapery studies. And the sense and yeah, I know it's uh, it's too much of a go-to go -to thing. I think it's important that um, one becomes aware of uh, the process and that you, you're not doing things out of reactionary ways, you know, but actual purpose for it in the piece. So it's always good to take a step back and, and think a little bit. I mean, obviously in, in these warm-ups, uh, I don't have time to, to take a step back and think about uh, materials and approach other than like a fleeting thought, 
you know, but oh shit, I need to to switch something up. I feel like I'm repeating. But uh, as a professionally, you need to kind of think twice and, and and what can I make make this stand out and not be uh, rinse repeat. You know? I I tend to almost ban myself from using certain things when I feel like I'm designing on the same theme all the time or the same approach all the time. So like I say, okay, no round shapes anymore. And I have to start designing in a different shape language. <coughs> it would be cool if these arms, like he has uh, maybe cylinders that he's carrying around different kind of sizes of them and they uh, and they collect uh, or they take out whatever you're buying from him with these robotic arms I think that would be a cool like uh, animation like these robotic arms are going while his arms are uh, talking to you you know just uh, uh, gesturing with his arms and so on, you know, and the arms are working. Maybe they're like dispensers. That would be cool. Like some sort of dispensary unit. And the robotic arms are like hang handing out pills, or I don't know what it can be that this guy is, is haggling, but. It's fun to design stuff like this, I think. Uh, this morning I was working on uh, Legend, the Bethesda card game. Uh, it's no um, hidden thing that uh, we are working on it because we've posted the images of it. So uh, anyways, um, it's always a set world, you know, where, where they have crafted it and, and you, you do stuff from their uh, universe, you know, so you can't really change anything. You have, you have uh, lore already established, uh, visual style already established, design already established of all the creatures and characters. And so you just need to do a, like a cool picture, right? Um, so I've been noodling on this illustration this morning, uh, like as an extra effort, and, and now doing this warm up, and it's just. It's a completely different part from the brain, you know, you, you you just have to be creative here and uh, doing card art, you just have to take out the technical aspect of your brain, you know. Hey, Tim Remmers, um, The Other Brothers, um, we made um, episode one of The Other Brothers. Uh, started selling it and sold really well at the start. Then people started being confused about the control scheme and they gave us uh, really negative uh, reviews about it and uh, it really killed the sales. Uh, we used a ticket for Apple to uh, push an update but uh, Apple did not update it for like two weeks so kept getting bad reviews and uh, bad sales they plummeted really uh, even though we had the, the hotfix sent out wanted to patch the game so that the reviewers wouldn't keep saying it's a flawed control scheme we just opened it up so that they could configure it as they wanted um, anyway so we uh, thought all right episode two we, we fixed we did it uh, we uh, we finished episode two and as we were finishing episode two unity um, updated their engine which forced us to redo the entire episode one in order to be able to do episode two so we had to spend like six months of just recoding the game um, and with the sales being bad we took the decision of uh, stop working on the game because we would lose 
so much time and money based on effort that we didn't know if sales would be good enough. So we, we stopped working on the other runners. But we had uh, almost finished episode three as well. Uh, episode two was completely finished visually. And all the characters, all the events, all the everything, all the levels were all finished. Just uh, not implemented in the game. But then the update from Unity happened. And the rest is history. Yeah, it's a real shame. It was a really cool game, it was fun to work on, do pixel art and all that. And yeah. Shame, really. But I'm working on a new game, a small little game, but nothing, nothing special, just a little cool, cool little, cool little game. I have designed many more games I want to make. I have a five-year plan of making a lot of games uh, on the side, and it's going to be fun. Team Remmers, no, nothing yet. It's kind of like a half pixel art, half 3D, but not blockheads uh, style. Kind of a puzzle game on uh, in uh, using the Unreal Engine. Still kind of playing a little bit with shaders and stuff. It's not anything worth showing yet, uh, but uh, I'm working on it with the same guy as I did other brothers with. And um, but there's nothing like official yet, you know, or public where it is now. But uh, and a coder, a friend of mine, who's gonna code a little bit. But our aim is not to make any like huge games at the moment, because we are all like family people more or less. We don't have that much time to kind of grind a game like the other brother, other brothers. So we're gonna do smaller uh, kind of bite-sized games, but that are fun to play, and we do more games rather than one big. Um, to kind of test the water with them and whichever game that catches on we just keep updating uh, so it's going to be like an experiment lab for five years i think uh, hopefully make a good chunk of money doing it and to keep going you know and also tie outsourcing into it somehow um, that's my my <laughs> big plan like shifting focus um, helping the studio out somehow because we got our own games at the studio that we want to make so i'm starting the the snowball effect you know so that i can help the studio guys do what they need or do what they want at the same time as i'm taking the hits you know like the I can stumble a bit on my spare time, see, kind of test the water of things, and so that they they they'll have a smoother ride. We'll see. It's not uh, Stranger Things, no, because that's an IP and. Uh, and they would sue the F out of me if I did. <laughs> but um, yeah, this new game is uh, it's not going to be very story driven, but it's going to have a character. I think it's a good compromise with, with the scale of the game because all story elements take extra time, extra time and a lot of more bespoke content and in the sense of animations and so on. Um, 
but this new game probably not gonna have a lot of like story. Just basic like Mario type story. <coughs> princess this, princess that. Cheers, Tim. Uh, looking forward to show some of it as well. Uh, still early days, you know, like uh, squeezing a little bit time of here and there. It started last month. I've done two characters, some um, environment, uh, temporary pieces, um, just to kind of get the feel out of it. I've rigged and, like I said, rigged and animated two characters already uh, with, with temporary textures. Just kind of feeling stuff out, but I designed it on paper already, and I think uh, in my head it's going to be a good, good, fun game. It's based on an old game, uh, but done today. I think it'll be good. It'll Because it's a small scale, I want to keep it like a rock, paper, scissor approach in the design. Not Nothing elaborate, just basics. But still keep it entertaining because um, I want the foundation to be there. And, uh, and just push uh, the feeling rather than uh, adding content. You know, if you understand the kind of idea of, I call it patchwork. So you don't patch with lots of pieces to make something fun, but you use the, the bare minimum and you, you tweak it, that bare minimum to a point where as a big picture it's really entertaining rather than having a bazillion things in there. You only have four, but the four things are really feel really good to interact with and play with. I think too many people do patchwork design where they just kind of add shit and try to make it work. I run um, by the mantra of uh, removing things where, where you're at the point where you can't remove anything more. If you add something, you will detract from the, the idea. And if you uh, add something, you will detract from the idea. You, you, you got to find that sweet spot of of balance. And I think too many people are just <laughs> chucking shit in there and then kind of trying to make it work somehow by tweaking numbers. Hey, good morning, Diego, and Rex. So here I'm doing the dispenser, <laughs> a dispenser railing. He likes to dispense medicine, maybe. Hey, HD artist. Morning. Let's give him finger feet. Did my ramble about design make any sense? As in game design, not character design. I mean, you could you could argue the same for character design. You know, remove things or add things that is the character and then if you add something the character you will remove it from the character and that you're going for and so on i mean i think that's a valid point in that sense instead of just adding shit, cool stuff and then you'll just be a mess obviously you need to have cool stuff but you know what's the cost of it <laughs> this is wonderful beer. Hey, Jane. I think it is.
Mr. Dispenser alien. How's it going? Do, 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 do. Oh, Janet. That's that's fine. Then it's Janet, not Jane. Right has to be. It has to be correct. Did you? Any one of you catch um, the new Metal Gear Solid game? Oh, the new Metal Gear game, rather. Thanks, uh, Jenny. Uh, hey, good morning, Andy Nolan. Oh my god, the new <laughs> Metal Gear game looks utterly fucking crazy. What? I mean, Kojima obviously left the studio and now they're just... Fuck it, you know, they're not caring whatsoever about the IP anymore. Oh man, it's crazy, just aliens and crystal zombies and it's like, where is that, like, it's even, not even remotely Metal Gear universe, I mean there hasn't been any aliens, and utter madness. Thanks, Andy Nolan. Um, the idea here is that he's a kind of a merchant of some sort, and that he has uh, these canisters that's kind of dispensers, and these robotic arms are uh, almost autonomous, and that he kind of they they hand out whatever he's dispensing. Oh no, time's up. Oh, I'll throw in a... I'll throw in a... Um, two minutes. Because of the whole... Start fiasco. This music is... And in all of yeah, definitely. I think that's most likely what's going on. Made made me also think like how long haven't haven't they pushed Kojima to to do something in the veins of that? And he has just been saying no, no, no. I'm not going to change the the world. But you know, I can definitely see the suit saying, but you know, the zombies are cool. Let's add some zombies to uh, Metal Gear, and I'm quite sure he's been like saying no, no, no. And uh, I think maybe one of the reasons why he did leave was that they did push hard on you need to change the IP. You know? 
So maybe that was one of the reasons why he left, because he knew it was already in the pipeline, this zombie game. Because it's not like they rushed a couple of, uh, like, uh, six months to make it, well, you know, when it announced that he left. Because he already left, when most likely to be working on it. I can see that he doesn't want to stand behind it. So maybe that's what's kind of what's happening. And in all, yeah, I agree. They don't. They have uh, lost the will somehow. All right, time's up for the ex even the extended time is up. So uh, this is what it ended up looking today. Some uh, alien merchant guy. Thank you all for coming. Um, I might stream tonight, I don't know yet, maybe, um, but um, that's it. Have a great day everyone, uh, good luck today, and uh, maybe see you tonight, uh, although I don't know. Bye.